I recently heard an opinion of one product photographer on Instagram that buying these geometric foam props is a huge waste of money and you shouldn't do that. She said if you don't have the money to invest into high quality, sturdy, expensive props, then you shouldn't buy them at all and instead you should focus on your lighting and composition skills. And I disagree, big time. So in today's video, I will dive deep into pros and cons of these props. I'll show you how I work with them. And hopefully by the end of this video, you will know everything you need to make an informed decision to invest in them or not. Let's dive deep into that. Hello, my fellow creator. My name is Stancy and you are on a Stancy Nova channel, the best place for creative people who want to live better. I create videos about product photography, content creation and lifestyle design. If you're into any of these topics, do not forget to subscribe. And let's start with cons, shall we? The first con is that these props are quite bendy and they're not very stable. Sometimes I find it difficult to place them on the background, they fall easily and some of them arrived damaged. Like on this cube, basically I'm missing a corner and some other props are kind of smooshed down and they have some wrinkles on them, which is not ideal for photos. The second con is that these props have texture. Since they are made out of foam, the material is very porous, like a sponge, and it's really visible on the photo. And it's a subtle texture with a subtle detail, but these subtle details can make or break your photo. It can basically look very cheap if you keep this foamy texture on your final shot. The next con is that these props are super trendy right now, especially for skincare photography and cosmetics photography. And if you're just trying to repeat someone else's concept, using these props, your photos will lack uniqueness. And the final con is that these props are not durable. You cannot do like a product swatch on them. You cannot spill anything on them. And if you do not store them properly, they'll get damaged and will just not be useful at all. Let's move on to the pros now. The first advantage of these props is that they're very affordable. They're super cheap. I got a set of 12 props for around 30 bucks with a delivery. I think it's a pretty good deal. Also, these props allow you to experiment with a new style. They allow you to try something new without committing to it. This is why I bought this. I just wanted to try it out for my photography and see if I like it or not. Spoiler, I did like it. The third pro is that these are super trend right now. Yes, this is a con and a pro at the same time, because maybe you're working with clients who want trendy photos with these specific props. In this case, they will earn you revenue. And the final pro is that your return on investment can be really high. If you're able to work with these props in such a way that it'll make the final photo look expensive, you will be able to earn more money because your expenses are really low. So how do I work with these props and how do I make my photos look expensive? Now I'll show you a few ways how to improve the look of these props in Photoshop. As you can see, the arch on this photo isn't perfect. To fix that, I go to Filter Liquify. This window pops up and I'm gonna use this tool to make the arch as perfect as possible. As I mentioned before, these props are quite bendy and this arch got a little bit damaged. When I'm happy with the result, I click OK to go to the initial view and I will use rulers to make sure this arch is straight. One of the corners wasn't perfect, so I go back to Filter Liquify and fix that as well. And you can see how the arch transformed here. Here is the final photo. Next, let me show you this example. This round prop is quite uneven, it arrived like that to me, and I'm gonna grab my favorite pen tool and select the whole prop with it. I'll make a selection with one pixel feather radius and then I will grab a stamp tool from the toolbar and I'm filling this area and cleaning up the prop. To reduce its foamy texture even more, I'm grabbing paint brush tool with 20% opacity and painting it over. But to make it more realistic, I'll add some noise. So I'm gonna go to filter, noise, add noise and 2% seem good for this photo. And finally, to clean up this prop even more and remove any dust particles on it, I'm using patch tool and spot healing brush tool. And now you can see the final photo. 
Another quick life hack how to improve the look of these props is to customize them. I decided to add some textured paper on the outside of this couple of props and I think it really elevated their look and added some visual interest to my photos. All I've done was I went to a craft store, bought some textured paper, I cut out strips from it and applied it with a tape on the outside of these props. If you want to see how I created these photos, I have a whole video on my YouTube channel about it. I'm walking you through the whole process from coming up with ideas to setting up the shots and editing and retouching the photos in Photoshop. Make sure to check it out after this one. And finally, where to buy these props? I got mine on AliExpress and I think it's the cheapest place to get them from and I made sure to select exactly what I wanted from different sellers in the colors that I needed. And my package arrived within two weeks, which I think is pretty good. Hopefully now you know everything you need to make an informed decision to buy these props or not to buy them. I personally think it's not a huge waste of money, if it's waste at all. I think it's an opportunity for a big return on investment if you have clients who want trendy photos with these trendy props. Thanks for watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment and give this video a thumbs up. You can also connect with me on Instagram, you can find me at stancy.nova and I will see you in the next video, guys. Peace!